This video is intended to introduce you to the new CyberAgent Anywhere Canvas Manager facility. To begin with, I'd like to just give you a quick overview of the CyberAgent Anywhere system. It takes the major modules from the CyberAgent desktop system onto an online application. The major modules are the Agent Manager for your agents, Contact Manager for your buyers and sellers, Property Manager where you load your properties and pictures, Website listing, which allows you to then update those properties to the websites. Sales manager, where you capture your sales and commission splits. Reporting. New developments, as you can see it's an optional extra. Now we've added in the canvas manager, which is also an optional extra. It is for agents and agencies who want to manage and list their data from any platform with an internet connection anywhere and anytime and for agencies and franchisors that want to see what is happening in their office or group. Working on a workstation or laptop, this one is for you. The Canvas Manager is designed with SAPTG. As you can see, SAPTG is South Africa's leading data provider of property transfers. Advantages of the Canvas Manager is access to all deeds data as and when transfers happen. Online interface to record information on property, buyers and sellers. You can send SMS and email seamlessly to all your captured buyers and sellers. You can keep record of their own and their family's birthdays. You can do custom CMAs and CAVs and it can be linked to the property manager and contact manager. The system works as follows. You start off with the agent manager and load the agents for your office. Each client needs an agent assigned to it, which will then tie in with what you've loaded in the agent manager. The property manager requires an owner and an agent, so that ties in with these two as well. The information loaded then goes from the property manager via the website update to all the various sites that you update to. As mentioned before, you can capture sales in the sales manager. This utilizes information that's already been captured in the property manager, contact manager and agent manager to record the sale and then do the commission splits with the agents. With this information there are various reports available as well as franchisor reports to access all the sales information of all franchises. The canvas manager has property and owner information. This can very easily then interact with your existing properties and owners or you can create a property from here directly in the property manager and an owner directly from here into the contact manager. Here are a few reasons why it would be to your benefit to get the Cyber Agent Anywhere system. It has an easy to use interface. It can provide each agent with their own interface keeping their private information private. It can maintain buyer and seller contact information, tracks prospecting activity, manages general office tasks, can calculate bond costs and payments, reporting like windows listings, detailed property listings and more, reporting on contacts, buyers and sellers, sharing of properties amongst other agents within the agency, administrators control, it can improve your time management, increase productivity and revenue generation, and backup of data. The system is backed up on a daily basis, so your data will never get lost. Now I'd like to move on and show you the CyberAgent Anywhere Canvas system. In your internet browser, go to anywhere.cyberagent.co.za. Then fill in your username and password. You will then get to the main page, and you can access the Canvas Manager from the link at the top. I just need to mention that this is the first release of the CyberAgent Anywhere Canvas Manager and as time goes by we'll be adding new and improved features so look out for these. So at the main search before I do go through this I just want to show you that the last viewed will store your last 20 viewed canvas listings. Um, it allows you to then just go and click on the item and it'll immediately open that up so you don't have to go through the whole search again. Right now the search I want to do is for Gauteng, the city Randburg. You'll notice as I type it'll bring up the IntelliSense. You need at least three characters. Okay, I want that. Suburb, I want Legari. Okay, the street 
If I type in star star star, it'll bring me up all the streets in Blegari. Now you can do the same for the suburbs and cities just to make sure you get the spelling right. It is faster though to just type the first few letters. Okay, then you can search on type. Um, if you want full title, cluster, sectional title or everything. You can filter on street number ranges, portion ranges, earth number range, complex and unit number range. ID number, you can search for which entries have a particular owner with this ID number, uh, an exact or start with search. Then if it must search everyone, only buyers, only sellers, uh, all transfers, then you've got name, again exact, only buyers, sellers, all transfers. Then you have transfer dates between. This allows you to say, I only want transfers older than, let's say, two years. If it's a year or less, the person's most likely not going to want to sell, so it might not be to your benefit to do so. You are, of course, welcome to do that if you like, but if you don't tick this, it'll then ignore the dates and it'll bring everything up. Right, so now I'm going to click on the search. It then brings up 53 properties. Now the section here at the bottom allows you to factor in how this displays to you. The rows to display splits how many will show per page. Um, there's 53, so that's why there's three pages. You can then select a particular page and it'll bring up that information. Try and keep this small. The smaller it is, the faster this page will open up. If you make it too big, it's got to generate that whole thing before it can actually display it to you. Records to return, should you take everything in a particular city for instance, there's going to be thousands upon thousands. So now in order to again speed things up, you can tell it just to return the first 20, 50, 100, 200 or 500. Anything further than that, it's just going to take way too long to display. You should further filter this down. Then you have your order. You can order it by street and number, suburb, city, street number, complex. Just choose the particular item you want. And then if it's descending, unticked is ascending order, meaning from A to Z, as opposed to descending Z to A. If you need to change any of this information, you execute the search from there. You'll notice there's a column data. The one I want to work on is 24 Allen Avenue, and you'll see it does have data. That's telling you I have worked on this one before, and I've already loaded additional information for this property. So let's go in there. 